Hello, third graders. This is the equivalent of fractions mini lesson, and we're going to go ahead and get started by reading a story problem. Young man and Khaled both have cookies. Khaled ate two thirds of his cookie, and Young Lin ate four sixths of his cookie. Who ate more? Hmm. Now, I've already drawn the cookies and divide them into their equal parts. So you can see that this one is Young Lin's cookie because he ate four six of his cookie and this cookie is split up into six equal parts. This one's Khaled's. Okay, before we go any further I want to define what equivalent means. So equivalent actually means equal in value or amount, you could say. Equivalent means equal in value. Now, when we are talking about equivalent fractions, we're saying that two fractions or more than two fractions are exactly the same. So uh, I'll, I'll actually write more about equivalent fractions later. Let's go over this story problem really quick. Young Lin and Khaled both have cookies. Khaled ate two-thirds of his cookie. So let's go ahead and color code and shade what uh, Khaled has eaten. Okay. And Young Lin ate four six, so I'm gonna go ahead and shade in four six. It's one, two, three, and four. Now we need to see we're trying to find out who ate more. I actually have some blocks that will help us out. Um, in this case, in Khaled's cookie, this would be considered one whole because I have all three equal parts here. Okay? But what Khaled actually ate was two thirds. For Young Lin, I would need to have six. Six total triangles. <laughs> oh, that's hard to. Okay, there we go. So I would need six, but Young Lin didn't actually eat six. He ate uh, four out of the six. So this is what Young Lin ate, and this is what Khaled ate. Well, let's try to figure out who ate more by just simply picking up the blocks and putting them on top of each other to compare them. So I'm going to take one-third of Khaled's cookie, or of what Khaled ate, and put it over part of Young Lin's. Hmm. I actually... This one third covered up two third, or excuse me, uh, two sixths of Young Lin's cookie. Let's take the other third um, from Khaled's cookie, or what he ate, and let's put it right there. Look at that! Do you see what just happened? This shows us that Young Lin actually ate the same exact amount of cookie as uh, Khaled did. Because if I can cover the amount with Khaled's amount, and I don't see anything sticking out, <coughs> then I, we can say that they're equivalent. The, uh, that they ate equivalent amounts. So if we want to do it with Young Lin's, we can also see that uh, these fractions are equivalent. Two-thirds and four-sixths. So, in, if we want to answer our question right now, we just say that, well, 
they both ate the same amount because these fractions are equivalent fractions. So comparing with Young Lin's, you can see that they are exactly the same. All right. Now, let's take some other fractions and write them down here. And like on a test, you will have um, a question that will say, what, what are some equivalent fractions to this fraction? So let's go ahead and write, uh, let's do a very popular one, 1 half. What's something equivalent to 1 half? Or what is the same as 1 half? Actually, you could almost see it right here if you were uh, looking carefully. You could see that uh, this is actually a half. Um, 3 6 is a half. Three six. Let me get the red again. So what else is a ha equal to a half? There's many fractions that are equal to a half. I guess you're probably thinking two fourths. Two fourths is the same as a half. And we can illustrate this by drawing pictures or using uh, these hexagonal blocks saying that this is one whole. If I uh, cover this 3 6 up or use three parts out of the 6, I can see that's exactly half. And for 2 fourths, well, we don't have fourths here. So If you drew like a cookie or a brownie, you could see that they were equivalent. All right. I hope that uh, explains a little better on what equivalent fractions are.